Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. Bobby here and excited to have David Wood on the program with Act 17 Apologetics. David, just so thankful for your work. You're doing a great job out there and uh, we just love you and your ministry and uh, just thankful to have you on the program. Uh, look, I, you've been very open about um, your testimony, your story, how God saved you in prison for uh, you know, attempting to take uh, the life of your father. And uh, we appreciate that vulnerability, that transparency that you're willing to talk about this. I think one of the things that uh, it, it leaves questions. And I think that we'll be able to, in a string of videos, be able to help people to understand how this fits into the moral law. Uh, but help us to understand kind of the difference first of a sociopath and a psychopath. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the, the terms are often used interchangeably. And for years I've, I've used them uh, interchangeably, but um, there is a distinction. Uh, there is a technical distinction. Uh, they both fall under the umbrella of a disorder called antisocial personality disorder, which I was diagnosed with that when I was 18 years old, but they don't tell you what that is. So when I saw it, I just thought, okay, they're saying I'm antisocial or something like that, or I, I don't get along with people well. That's, I, that's true. I don't always get along with people well. So I didn't know how severe <laughs> that is. Uh, it wasn't until years later after I had gone through mental hospitals and jails and prisons and was in college taking a psychology class that I was actually reading about this. And I was like, whoa, that is like a perfect description of my life. So antisocial personality disorder, um, it, it basically means you don't form normal emotional attachments to people generally. Uh, you lack empathy. So when people are going through stuff, it, it doesn't, it affects normal people. It doesn't affect you. Uh, people who have this generally uh, don't respect the rights of other people, don't, don't have any respect for the rights of other people or their feelings, things like that. And so uh, they can get a, end up getting in a lot of trouble. But here's where the distinction comes in. Um, the, the, the classic saying is a hot-headed sociopath, a cold-blooded psychopath. And so the, the sociopath is generally hot-headed, easily irritated, uh, violent outburst if someone annoys him, uh, has trouble holding down a job, can end up as like a social outcast and so on. Yeah. Uh, psychopath more cold, calculating, manipulative. Uh, psychopaths will generally learn to mimic other people's emotional responses so that they can blend in. And so uh, sociopaths are considered a less severe, to have a less severe form of antisocial personality disorder uh, but they're easier to spot because they, they end up flipping out over things or not being able to hold jobs, whereas the, the psychopath will actually blend in. So they're kind of harder to spot. Wow, thanks for sharing that distinction.